is we're gonna do a little and then and then Good morning again, everyone. Welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. You guys know it. Another day on mullet. And we are continuing with both the wiring, as far as the connector at the firewall. You can see we've got the connector installed right there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We got to paint that flange. Just, we got to do that. Oh, got to do that. But I'm going to work on doing this real quick. And CJ's taking the last couple of things out of uh, the interior. We decided to take the cables out and everything because it's probably all going to get repainted. Just repaint the whole cage and everything when we go back in there after we do all the gussets. We measured and cut all of the gussets that we've got to add back in. And I think it worked out to, what was it, like 13? I can't remember say six so 12 gussets and then redoing the door bars so 14 bars so that's kind of our plan for that cut out those two add 14 back in Whew. that's going to be probably my job for tomorrow morning it's supposed to be at the 352 shootout racing but the weather right now is looking pretty suspect so we are going to i'm going to be in here working if i'm not racing and today they're having a test day out at the track and I'm about to leave to head out there. But first I wanna get this valve cover tube made just so we can make sure all the wiring and everything routes around it nicely. And you can see Travis over here populating firewall connector. Going crazy from looking at wires yet? Color blonde. <laughs> Where's the one you did already? Uh, um, two bolts. No, gotcha. So you can see here's the coil side of the harness. And then that last little bit will get populated with the wires that he's crimping on there now. And then there's a big heat shrink boot that goes over and covers from there to there. But it's quite the nice little deal here. Switch hands. Literally, once the connector is done, that's that. Connector engine harness will be installed that easy. It's definitely a pretty nice way to do it. Makes it super easy to pop, pop the motor out. that fun stuff so stay tuned and we're gonna keep on working well everybody our race got rained out of the 352 shootout so instead of that video of us racing soccer mom in the lawn dart we're gonna be continuing on mullet. So I'm gonna jump in, cut out the stuff we need to cut out. CJ's already been making some of the gussets that I've got to weld in. Goal is to try and get the bars in today. Hopefully come in tomorrow morning or maybe later today, paint everything. And then by Monday, we're back reinstalled, thrashing on getting everything put back together so that we can get this thing to a racetrack. Well, dyno first, then a racetrack finish up everything else we got going on. So time to get started.
All right, well, you guys saw lots of welding and fabrication in the time lapse there. I know some of you don't like time lapses, but that's how I can get the most work done while I'm still filming and you can kind of still see what's happening. But I think the battery went dead while I was cutting out and replacing those bars, but they are both upgraded now to inch and a half to meet the 25-2 spec. That one was a little tough down there to get to weld, I'm not gonna lie, but it is fully welded all the way around it. Had to do some trickery with a cup to kind of catch some of the argon so that I could kind of hang the tungsten really far out, but we made it happen. And we got all of, so that's a new gusset. That's a new gusset. That's a new gusset there. So these two support the X and the, the A pillar bar area. This supports the dash bar. And gotta bend that back down to fit underneath the dash. Ugh. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. Be back in the morning, do some more on it. So see you guys in the morning. All right, everybody. It's Sunday morning, 9.20. Back here at the shop. It's absolutely flooding here in Gainesville this morning. And hopefully that doesn't affect our paint later. The temperature is good for painting, but the humidity not sure if I had that humidity sensor I could log into the car and find out what that no just kidding I kind of found the humidity sensor so thanks to all of you that sent us links and part numbers I had looked a couple years ago for a humidity sensor and hadn't found one and then you guys loaded us up with all kinds of ones so we've got one on order so this will be a rolling weather station while we're going down the road that's the little things but anyways I'm going to try and get these tubes wrapped up for today. So the goal is to finish the same gussets we did here, finish those on the driver's side, do the gussets in the roof, and then paint everything. So my girlfriend's been over there helping to strip the old paint off of the roll cage. And then, yeah, and then we're going to get to painting the new stuff, hopefully by the end of the day. We've got probably a good 10 hours of time that we can probably work and then get the paint on it. So hopefully we come in first thing in the morning, peel all the tape off and start reassembling. So I'm going to get to work, see what we can make happen.
right, everybody. So the cage work has been finished. And if you've noticed, I've got a nice little spot on my lip. Well, when I was crammed up in this thing welding, I had just finished, I lost my balance and I smacked the filler rod right against my lip while it was still blazing hot. Kind of hurt a little bit. It's weird when you hear your skin sizzle. It's not fun. Anyways, all we've got left to do now is put some paint on the cage. You can see we sanded most of it down in the high traffic areas. And uh, if you're wondering, yes, it took a while to do. We had already, you know, all these new bars we added and in the roof and the passenger side door bars, like it just made, just kind of made sense to at least take down the high traffic areas and the real visible areas all the way to bare metal. And then we've blended in some of the other areas that aren't as obvious but it'll blend in nice and you shouldn't be able to even tell. But after all this, the interior goes in for the final time. I hope. Really, it should be. Like, hopefully there's nothing else that we've got to deal with. But I've been watching Vice Grip Garage a little bit, and I think the proper thing, proper term for what's about to happen is we're gonna do a little and then and then Something like that. See you in a minute. tired that was two and a half hours straight 
of painting roll cages or painting a roll cage. And if I haven't said it or you guys don't know it, I don't like painting roll cages. Like my kind of personality is I try to make everything look nice. I try to make everything I do look like I did it on purpose. But with a roll cage and you're painting, you're painting a circle. So you paint one side of it and then on the other side it looks like crap. So you paint the other side of it and now the other side looks like crap. So you're trying to get all of the paint kind of wet so that when you flow more paint back over it, it kind of blends in. Well, in Florida, usually it's so hot that the paint dries really fast. So you're always, you've got some kind of dusty looking paint somewhere in the cage. This one definitely has that. I tried to make them where they were hidden out of the way or places that would be covered up by the carbon fiber two protectors. But I'm not a painter, but I did my best. And I think it looks pretty good. It's, it looks, weird thing is it's supposed to be semi-gloss black, but I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty shiny. Anyways, I'm tired. It's time for bed. I'll get this video up in a day or two when I feel like editing a video. Thanks for everybody. Thanks to everyone that's subscribed. Please subscribe if you haven't, if you like what we're doing. We'll see you in the next one.